Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 11th of 2025 is titled 25 Brightest Stars in the Night Sky. So what do we see here? Well, here we see images of 25 different stars, and not just any 25 stars, but the 25 brightest stars in the sky. So these are the ones you likely see if you go out and look at the sky at night. These are the brightest ones that will stand out. Now, on the upper left, we have Sirius, the brightest of the 25 stars. And then as you go from left to right and top to bottom, down to number 25 in the lower right-hand corner. Now, as you look at them, we'll start to see some patterns here. First of all, you'll see that overall, they look the same. They're points of light. And that's because, with a very few exceptions, one of which would be the bright star Betelgeuse at the right-hand side of the second row there, any other star only looks like a point of light to us through telescopes. Even Betelgeuse through most telescopes would look like just a point of light, but you can actually, with powerful enough telescopes with a significantly high enough resolution, actually resolve it into a disk. So, otherwise, we just see them the same, and we see the cross patterns of the diffraction pattern going through the center regions of the uh, stars here. And those are because of the telescope optics itself. Now we can also see some color patterns there as well, and we see that a lot of these stars are very blue. That tells us that they are very hot stars, and the very hot stars are among the brightest ones, putting out the most light, and are the most intrinsically bright, and that means they'd be visible over larger distances. So even stars farther away would still be quite visible. There are a few that look very red, and we see Betelgeuse, Antares, and Aldebaran out to the right-hand side there. Those are red giant and red supergiant stars. Others are similar to our own sun, and we can see a couple of yellowish stars there. And one of those, Capella, is actually a giant star, so a larger star, but about the same temperature as our sun. And then there is, of course, uh, Regal Cantaris, which is one you may know by a different name, which would be Alpha Centauri, which is the nearest star similar to our sun uh, that is close to us. So that is one there, and you can see that it's a yellowish star, much like our own sun. So we see those kind of patterns there, and the stars that we tend to see that are bright in the sky tend to be the very hottest and bluest stars that are visible over great distances, and those very large supergiant stars, things like Betelgeuse, that are also visible over great distances. So the stars that we see here are not typical of the stars in the universe. In fact, most stars in the, in the universe are very small red dwarf stars, very tiny stars and would not be visible at, the, at these distances. In fact, many of those stars, even close ones to us, are not visible without the aid of a telescope. Now, you may note one star missing from this list. If you look through the names, you do not see the star Polaris. Polaris, a well-known star, is the north star close to the north celestial pole in the sky. However, it is not one of the 25 brightest stars in the sky. It's actually the 50th, so we would need to do the top 50 stars to actually be able to get Polaris on the list. Polaris is not prominent because of its brightness, but because of where it happens to be located marking the north celestial pole. So that was our picture of the day for June 11th of 2025. It was titled 25 Brightest Stars in the Night Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.